Corral again. I hope you were able to um, get an idea of the um, reflexive verbs in Spanish. You can see there quite a bit. And they're very different from the ones that are in English. In Spanish, the reflexive is not assumed. In English, the reflexive is assumed, right? But in Spanish, it's not assumed. So, um, if you're going to uh, um, take a bath, take a bañar, bañar, say, take a shower, do char, say, um, uh, let me just think of another example. Oh, yes, dry yourself, okay? Then um, the um, the verb is normally in the in the reflexive. So once again, what is the reflexive? When we're talking about the reflexive in either Spanish or in English, we're talking about when the subject and the object, right? So the person who does the action and the person who receives the action, the same person, okay? Now, sometimes, we're going to talk about this a little bit more in detail in the next video. Um, the reflexive pronoun, using reflexive, changes the meaning of the, noun, of the verb. It changes the meaning. So that officially really isn't reflexive. That's more, you know, pronomial in which... The, re, the putting on the reflexive pronoun changes the meaning of the, of the verb. And like I said, I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I have maybe one or two verbs that, where that's the case. Or using the reflexive tells you that the accident was, um, that it was an accident, that it wasn't intentional. That would be, for, for example, for the one that would change the meaning, that would be acordarse. And the one telling you that it was an accident, see, me caí, right, is caerse. But first let's look at the, what are reflexive, what are the reflexive pronouns in Spanish? It's me, te, se. Now, se is used for el. Ella and usted. Nos, of course, for nosotros. And the say, you notice it's the same say, right? And the, this say is used for ellos, ellas, y ustedes. Now, if you notice, I don't put vos. And you notice I never use vos because I really don't, I never really learned how to use that. Because when I lived, they didn't use vosotros at all. When I sometimes, when I, back in the day, when I used to look at, antes, ya no, when I used to look at my telenovelas, I would see, um, I would sometimes watch telenovelas from Argentina, and you would hear the, um, you know, the vosotros, and I would understand it, but I frankly, I never use it. Okay, so let's look at how the reflexive verbs in Spanish look versus in English. In English, you'll notice that the verb is, for example, um, to dirty or to, um, to enjoy, and the verb itself doesn't change. Where in Spanish, you see that when the verb is a reflexive, whether it's an AR verb, an IR verb, or an ER verb, all the verbs end in say, S-E. It's the same say that's here. When you see a verb that ends in say, you know that the verb is reflexive. And there's certain verbs in Spanish that only are reflexive. We'll talk about that a little bit later too. So let's look at the verbs here, acordar, say. Now when it's acordar by itself, it means to agree. When it's acordar, say, it means to remember. So here, the actual verb changes its meaning. That's not the case for most of these verbs here. Acostar, say, which means to lie down, right? Oh, but here it also changes its meaning also, right? Well, no, no it doesn't, not really. Because here it means either you 
lay someone down, like you lay the baby down, but when it's reflexive, that means you are, once again, the, the action goes back to the subject. So you're doing this to yourself. Arrepentirse, uh, which means to um, regret something. This is an irregular verb, by the way. Atreverse, this means to dare. You hear this on in the soap operas a lot. ¿Cómo te atreves a hablarme así? It's how I do it. I have to be very dramatic because it's always, you hear this a lot on the soap operas. Caerse, once again, this is reflexive, but, the, but there's an underlying meaning was that you, you fell by accident. It's not that you just, boom, you fell, right? Dignase, this is a cognate because this is very similar to English, you know, not to to uh, dignify your uh, question with an answer, all right, to dignify oneself. Divertirse means to either, means to enjoy. Quejarse, which means to complain. Secarse, which means to dry. Sentarse, which means to sit. Sentirse, which means to feel. Vestirse, which means to dress. Okay. Now, I go to several places when I look for things. So, I found another list, which was a little bit, which was quite different. So, once again, alphabetical order again. More verbs that normally are used in the um, uh, reflexive. Afeitarse, which means to shave. Bañarse, which means to bathe. Cepillarse, which means to brush. And if you remember, um, I don't know if I've ever said this before, but if you ever study Spanish, you know you don't say, I brush my teeth or I brush my hair. You say, I brush, I guess it would be to say, I brush me the teeth or I brush me the hair. Cortarse, which means to cut. Despertarse, which means to wake up. Dormirse, which means to sleep. Ducharse, which means to um, shower. Ensuciarse, which means to get dirty. Lavarse, which means to wash. Levantarse, which means to get up, but to rise up, not to get up as if, well, you can say, me levanto también a las nueve, or me despierto. Oh, by the way, this is irregular. Peinarse, which means to comb one's hair. And the last one, preocuparse, which means to worry. Many of these verbs in English would not be uh, uh, um, reflexive unless, once again, you're not used to doing the, the, the um, action. Like sentarse, you know, I sit myself down. That sounds really weird in English. Secarse, which means I dry myself. Yeah, it was raining hard, so let me go in the house and dry, dry myself off. That would be okay. Okay. Um, I dress myself, that would sound really weird in English. Vestirse, you know, me visto. Well, who else is going to dress you? So that would sound really weird, right? Despertarse, in the sense of to get up in the morning, or levantarse, in the sense of getting up in the morning. I guess you can say that, you say, I don't need an alarm clock, I get myself up. So yes, they could be, um... Preocuparse in the sense that I worry myself to death. I guess you could do that. But a lot of these uh, verbs would not be used in the reflexive in, in English. So once again, you know, studying another language means you have to study and understand that language and how that language and how that language uses certain grammatical um, terminology or forms. And it's not always the same in English as in Spanish. So I'm going to leave you. I'm going to give you about 10, 15 more seconds to look at this if you need to copy this down. Okay, so here are the reflexive pronouns. These are the verbs, okay? And so we're talking about the whole classification is pronomial verbs, but we're talking about one type of pronomial verb, which is the reflexive verb. Once again, this is Corrala Ficklin at Corrala Ficklin. Um, Corrala Ficklin McLean, excuse me, at iStudyGuides.com. Thank you. Thank you very much.